uh, stocks in the pharma space that are doing quite well, the likes of uh, Piramal, the likes of Suven, uh, all of the, uh, the companies that are involved in contract manufacturing and uh, development. And there is a reason behind that. There is, in fact, a bill that was passed in the US that relates to acquisition or dealing with companies that uh, work in this space and it's beneficial for the Indian companies. To tell you what exactly this US Biosecure Act is all about and why uh, Indian companies are set to benefit, which Indian companies are set to benefit, Varsha is joining in. Varsha, what can you tell us about all of this? Well, thanks Alex for that. So yes, a few of the CDMO pharma companies are buzzing today. Now this is on the back of US uh, uh, passes Biosecure Act targeting some Chinese biotech firms. Now let's break it down. What is Biosecure Act? So, so basically this, this act will ban US companies from partnering with certain Chinese biotech firms, which are these companies which are banned. So one is your BGI uh, Genomics, then MGI Tech Complete Genomics, then Wuxi App Tech, Wuxi Biologics. So these companies are banned with partnering with US companies. Now, why this is being done? To prevent misuse of US genomic data. So now, US drug makers will actually shift to Indian CDMO players for their supply. Uh, now, this is the potential benefit for Indian pharma companies. Now, uh, why this is, I mean, why we are targeting uh, to Indian pharma companies because if you see China's CDMO industry holds around 8% share of the global market while India's CDMO industry has smaller share at 2.7%. Now this act is seen as an opportunity for India to challenge China's dominance and this act could boost Indians, India's position in global CDMO market. Now are we seeing the increased inquiries? So 60% now this is according to India research so 60% of listed pharma companies have seen uh, business inquiries and 33% believes that act could drive business growth and Indian companies may see increased orders from US in next 12 to 18 months. Um companies are also getting pilot projects when it comes and higher, higher F, 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 RFQs as well. Uh, which companies will benefit? You have Sinjin International, you have Loris Lab, you have Newland Lab, you have DV's Lab and Suvin Pharma, which you see today they are actually buzzing. So this is the US Biosecure Act is the reason why we are seeing the CDMO companies buzzing today. Okay, and we're playing them on the screen right now. Thanks so much for, for, for breaking that down for us. Of course, this is all uh, potential and this is conjecture to find out which stocks you should possibly look at on the back of this development. We've got uh, Asta Jain, who's a senior research analyst at Hame Securities and also Swati Hotkar, AVP technical research at Nirmal Bank joining in. Uh, Asta, you heard uh, hopefully the report and you heard what we were talking about, the stocks that we're talking about. What do you make of this development and which of these do you potentially have a buy rating on? Hi, good morning to both of you. So yes, uh, this development is very positive because I think the Indian CDMO market is around 18,800 crore if I take about uh, the figures of FY24 and we are expecting it to grow at a CAGR of around 14 to 15%. Now we have more than 100 plus CDMOs in India and now uh, this uh, development has really helped all these companies, especially we are positive on the Piramal Pharma because the results were also above our estimates if it, I talk about this particular stock. So results were above our estimates and CDMO business, which contributes to more than 54% of their revenue, will definitely going to uh, be beneficiary from this uh, recent development. So uh, we are positive on two, three stocks, among which Piramal Pharma is our major choice. Uh, it is uh, like that followed by other companies like Loris Lab and in fact Alcam Lab is also looking strong to us. So the two, these two three counters are looking good to us and uh, we are recommending buy on these two three counters. All right uh, and, and I'm assuming that it's a buy despite the kind of run that we've seen today. Asta just confirming? Yes yes it is a buy for Piramal Pharma our uh, price target is around 255 to 60 odd levels. Fair point.